Hey there, it's Steve, and it's week two of El Esteperio's drum challenge. It's a daily challenge on drumio.com, uh, where you do 10 minutes a day, uh, and he's challenging anyone to do that, and I'm uh, giving you the results of my challenge. I'm also wearing my karate suit because I have karate in about half an hour. So I'm trying to get this video in for you. Uh, I've toned down the cymbals so you can hear what's going on. Last week was a pretty... A uh, simple introduction um, to independence around the kit, uh, if I can remember it. I can't at the moment. But this week is a little bit harder. <clears throat> um, and it's basically uh, playing a beat against this ostinato between the ride cymbal and the hi-hat as such. Okay. Not too hard. Um, but... Uh, and really what you have to do is take this course uh, because you'll go through every day he adds a little bit more and 10 minutes on something like this focusing on uh, where the backbeat is and where, where how your groove is um, working is akin to what I'm doing right here in the martial arts which is always what we always do is go back to basics even if you know certain moves advanced moves and stuff we're always going back to the basic moves and that's something um, us musicians professional musicians don't often do we get into habits and we just play our music and such so uh, I'm really enjoying this course and this is my plug for it okay so back to the lessons uh, I'll show you kind of what Ellis Perio showed showed us the students and um, how I took it a little farther um, to test my own limits in this regard. So here we go. Uh, so first thing we did was add the snare. One, So yeah, and so then, this is probably going a little faster than, than in the lesson, but in any case, um, I can do that beat fairly readily. So I thought what I'll do is play a few other things around the kit um, and try and keep that backbeat alive. So let's see how that goes. It might take a couple of takes. Here we go. taking it too far but uh, <laughs> at risk of completely blowing my cover um, that's kind of where I was going with it I was trying to do um, here's the extra bit for you guys if you're still with me I was trying to uh, do triplets against the beat so first of all uh, this for example <laughs> Express is a straight triplet, like one, two, three, one, two, three, which is has its own sound. Uh, 
basically six against eight. Six, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I thought, well, if I can do that, um, let's see if I can do a more complex pattern between the two. So, uh, for example. I can get this. Right, and now you get into, and then you could take from that and maybe do a paradiddle like. Notice I didn't do that against the cymbals because I might screw that up. Um, but you could do that. Uh, you could also take that triplet feel and make it a little more funky, which I like. Um, it kind of sits, it's got a groove to it. So check this out. <laughs> Sixteenth feel. Whatever that was. Uh, yeah, so there's that. Then you could do things like. Um, Try that again. Turn that into a shuffle. There's so far you can take this, and uh, I'm just touching the surface. Once again, back to basics. Week two is wrapped up. We're going to move on. I think Alisperia has something more uh, complicated cooked us for, for us for next week. So. Uh, We'll see you then. Thanks for sticking with me. This is Steve, and uh, time to subscribe to this channel if you love it. All right, I'm out.